Yeah, this claim that it takes more energy to make ethanol uh, than it, uh, it does when you burn the ethanol, you get when you burn the ethanol, it's been around for a long time. It's flat wrong. It's absolutely wrong. Uh, but so the way people get to this conclusion is by being very sloppy in their uh, definitions about what types of energy and how you do the energy conversion. It's about what we call boundaries. What do you include or not include? I don't want to get too technical here, but there's a, a, a law of principle of thermodynamics. It's a scientific or physical principle that you can't ever create energy. Energy can't be created or destroyed. You can only change its form. And so in that sense, every single process that we have, if you draw the boundaries large enough, every single one of them uh, takes more energy to make the, the fuel than you get when you release it from, oil, from, from producing oil from, and gasoline and so forth. So the energy, just take a certain amount of energy that goes in as oil and you process that to gasoline and diesel. You get out less energy in the form of gasoline and diesel than, you, than the oil that you put in. But the convention is, the, the practice is that we don't count the energy in the oil, okay? And so it's, these are, uh, you know, it's been a misconception for a long time. It appeals to people because it's a quick sound bite, but it's dead wrong. And it's, it, it's not useful because if you, wanted, if you want to play that game, any fuel that we have, all the fuels that we have, uh, have a negative net energy. The, the key point for us is, can we get more useful energy out than what we put in? And the answer is, yes, we do, okay? Uh, in terms of, so oil as it comes out of the ground is not particularly useful as a fuel, and, uh, and plant material, corn or, or sawdust or wood chips for cellulosic biofuels, that energy in that is not very useful to put in your car. But so when we do the processing, the useful energy we get out is much more than the useful energy we put in.